Hi there and welcome to Make Timber 6. Thank you for stopping by the wood shop today. I have an awesome project and I'm very excited about it. Hopefully it does not explode on the CNC because it is very tiny. After yesterday's big cutting board, we have these two shoulders left over as scrap. They're still very pretty pieces of wood, so I figured that I would use them on today's project. Unfortunately, they're not the right length, so I'm going to have to create this project against the grain that I would normally run it. Um, you'll see later, but let's go ahead, put this down the CNC, tape, screws, and then we are going to be running two separate bits today. The bowl bit, just like yesterday, but a different variation of the downtown Jenny. This is an eighth inch downtown Jenny. It still runs on a quarter inch shank, so you're not having to change anything with your collet and your router or anything like that. So first the bowl bit, and then our eighth inch downtown Jenny. fairness, I am using Carvco's recommended inches per minute, which is 100 inches per minute at a depth of cut of 0.2 inches. But I'm actually running mine at 0.1 inch because I'm a little afraid. Uh, you know, it's okay to be afraid. <laughs> I am. Because uh, I really don't want to break it. It is the only one that I have. And, you know, would it be the worst thing in the world? No. But it certainly would make this project come to a standstill. So here's to hoping we don't break it. So as you can see, the coffee clip just goes onto the bag, so after the bag is opened, it not only seals the bag, but it is the scoop that you're using for your coffee. What are your thoughts on wine-infused coffee? This is made on Mount Yona, up a little bit north of me. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think about that. I think this is something that, in person, you can sell anywhere from $12 to $20. Online, shipping this is less than $3. It is, is a very small, light item and I would probably charge $25 online, uh, anywhere from you know 20 to 25 online, really depending on your market and what you can sell it for. Now you can obviously jazz this up a little bit by laminating very small strips of wood together and having different patterns and stuff on this. This is also something that I could do a torture test for my CNC on, and I actually might do that because this item could be a very quick seller for people. This is an excellent gift around the holidays, so let me do a little bit of a calculation really quick. Uh, the profiling pass, because I was a little fraidy cat, was three minutes, and then the bowl itself was 26 seconds, and that included the time that it takes the bit to get to the project. So that would actually be a little bit less per project. So, well, let's just say that we could fit 66 of these on the bed, uh, and then 66 times, let's say that we went with Carvco's recommended 0.2 inches depth, so, so a little bit over two hours. As far as wood is concerned, we're using so very little wood on this. I mean, we're talking a dollar maybe. Even with the nice wood that I got, this this might be a dollar worth of material. So if we were doing 66 of these on the CNC and it was taking two hours, and then let's say we're profiting $10 a piece, uh, which I think that is very low for the profit margin on this, but let's say we're making $10 off of every single one of these, that's 660 bucks that you can make in two hours, or that you can make worth of product in two hours. Of course, you still have to sell them and everything. This is this is something that you could even charge $10 for just as a quick sale and to get people in, and you're still making $8 on each of them, which is fantastic. There's not a lot that goes into these. Um, maybe use tabs if you're trying to do 66 of them at the same time. I, I don't know, I think you could probably fit more than that. You really only need two and a half inches. Anywhere from 60 to 80, <laughs> I could probably fit on that bed. That'll mess with me. Those, uh, I, I really love batching stuff out on the CNC. I love, I love putting in a ton of work on one day and then having a lot left over to deal with rather than doing a little bit of work on a lot of days. Uh, that stuff stresses me out, so that's why I do a lot of the torture test videos that I've done in the past is because that's just me cranking out product for myself so I don't have to worry about it again for a while. At the very top, I set this up where at a quarter inch roundover bit, um, it actually just kind of like kisses the very inside of this. 
I don't know. I think it looks pretty snazzy. I hope y'all do too. All right, so the hint for tomorrow's project is everybody has this, but not everybody uses it. Thank you very much for stopping by the woodshop today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I hope to see you tomorrow.